So this was the uh, oversampling point. Um, two millisecond, we got the minimum time uh, that captured the uh, entire information or the entire packets uh, and the maximum amount of memory that made the scope slightly slower <laughs> i would say but uh, uh what about doing something less demanding let's go the other way let's go to auto now the sampling is 64 and uh, maybe you want to capture a little bit before and after uh, so the time base now it's five milliseconds so we got enough signal on, on, on both sides and it will be even it will be even more than that so 160 nanosecond per point with the automatic selection of the time or the memory i would say uh, let's try that so trigger on now let's look at it so 160 nanosecond per point if we zoom on it then we see the red thing uh, meaning that there is some mistake or error in the timing uh, sometimes we see it in too strange shape uh, timing that is offsetting the uh, the square wave is not square anymore or things like that uh, but basically we are not sampling enough so let's go back to five if we want to have a little bit of uh well we could keep two so we got in the past a very long time we don't need that much we could put the trigger over the left part uh, but uh, instead of five let's go to two two will be 64 let's try 264 zoom again uh, it seems to be fine at least for this part let's unzoom see the beginning yeah it seems to be fine everywhere so no mistake on it so six it's probably uh my feeling even though the uh, 400 seems to be fine there is not much of it but uh, it's probably the minimum cleanest that you that you could get and it's only working with the uh, 65 uh, 625 kilo point but we could increase that uh, to the next that will be one meg point so let's in in let's go to lower than that for five millisecond now we got in micro so it's uh under so we need to go one step more one meg one meg give us 160 equivalent to what we were having before with the auto auto is 625 160 almost uh, rounding to the same value let's go to 10 meg 10 meg we got 16 so 16 uh four times better than 64 nanosecond per point that will be the the good place to sample five millisecond let's try to do that capture another trace and we, we zoom at it it's uh, very good everywhere it's very good square timing the clock is there and we could look even at the uh, 400 kilohertz part on the right no error and we could again inspect for the timing so this pretty well aligned i don't see much of an offset well we could move it over the other so it's something like this so it's fine it's good enough if we activate the cursor oh the cursor are not the right place so we need to forget about that so basically if you sample this thing at 
five millisecond, 10 meg point, uh, we got way more data than we need, and we don't need to move to the uh, higher sampling rate of 25. So this 25 with the time base of, I would say, two millisecond will be, well, if as long as the message fit on the screen, you're, you're fine. You go to two nanosecond point. We don't need to go that fast to, to capture, of course, a more beautiful, but uh, you lose a little bit if we zoom out. Well, we got a lot of uh, 25 million points. You, you capture a lot on each side, so it's fine. 